The Lord be with you. And so with you. Welcome to this all age service. Come all you don't belong to winners and losers and people like me. Come all you travellers, tired from the journey, come wait to work, stay a while, welcome you'll be. Come all you questioners, looking for answers and searching for reasons and sensing it all. Come all you fallen and come all you broken, find strength for your body and food for your soul. Come to the feast, there is room at the table. Come, let us meet in this place. With the king of all kindness, who welcomes us in. With the wonder of love and the power of grace. The wonder of love and the power of grace. Have houses and money, and all those who don't have a care in the world. From every station and orientation, the helpless, the hopeless, the young and the old. Come to the feast, there is room at the table. Come, let us meet in this place. With the king of all kindness, who welcomes us in the wonder of love and the power of grace. The wonder of love and the power of grace. Come all believers and dreamers and schemers and turn all you restless just searching for hope. Movers and shakers and givers and takers, the happy, the sad and the lost and the lone. Come self-sufficient with wearied ambition and come those who feel at the end of the road. Fiery debaters and religion haters, accusers, abusers, the hurt and ignored. Come to the feast, there is room at the table. Come, let us meet in this place. With the king of all kindness who welcomes us in. With the wonder of love and the power of grace. The wonder of love and the power of grace. The wonder of love. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness, all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Father, you come to meet us when we return to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you died on the cross for our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Spirit, you give us life and peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love bring us back to himself, forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal life. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory forever. Glory forever. 
God our Saviour, look on this wounded world in pity and in power. Hold us fast to your promises of peace, won for us by your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one that sent me. Whoever welcomes a prophet as a prophet will receive a prophet's reward. And anyone who welcomes a righteous person as a righteous person will receive a righteous person's reward. And if anyone gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones who is my disciple, truly I tell you, that person will certainly not lose their reward. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Well, welcome. Just how do we welcome new people into our communities, including new students in school, new people into our churches, and those new to our neighbourhoods? To start with, we can say hello, or hi, or even sign hello. But what happens if someone is from, say, Germany? Hello. Or Finland. Moi. China. Ni hao. Japan. Konnichiwa. Korea. Annyeonghaseyo. Or France. Bonjour. There are so many different countries and languages. See if you can learn others during the week. We can welcome someone new with a banner. You can always add a name to make it more personal. You can make a cake and take it around to a new neighbour. Who might that be? Hello? Hello, hello. I heard there was some cake going. Oh yes, do come in, do come in. Okay. Welcome and do take a seat. Thank you. I should just cut you a slice. Wow, that looks nice. Thank you. Would you like a glass of water with that? Oh, thank you very much. There we go. Jesus said, you can give a cup of water to a thirsty child. A child often won't or can't return a favour. But these are all examples of unselfish acts of kindness. Jesus said, Anyone who welcomes you, welcomes me. So every time you do an act of kindness, you are welcoming Jesus into your life and showing those, <clears throat> and showing who Jesus is to those who you are helping. I have a challenge for you. Show others Jesus' love and do one act of kindness every day this week. It could be tidying your bedroom, washing the dishes, shopping for a neighbour, or giving someone a drink of water, or even feeding the homeless. Our activity today is the welcome banner. You will need a ruler, a piece of paper, a pencil, a pair of scissors, but please do make sure you ask your parents or whoever's looking after you if it's safe for you to do so some felt pens and 
some lettering that you can download from the computer and um, we're going to cut them out and use them as a template. So you need to measure with your ruler the centre of your paper. So that is 14.8, 14.8 down here and then you have your centre line. Now each one of these measures 14.8, so right at the very base of your paper you need to measure 7.4 and to make your triangle you're going to go from one corner of the piece of paper down to your dot and from the other corner down to the dot Again, on the other side, you're going to measure 7.4, right at the edge. And again, from corner to the dot, corner to the dot. And you have three triangles that you can use for your, for your flags. You've got one, two, three. You need to cut them out. And I'm going to use a template. Now, if you don't want pencil marking, I would do your template backwards. So we have your we have an E. I'm just going to show you how to do these with just one letter. Oh, I've forgotten the hole in the middle. I'm going to cut this one out. Center out. Then you have an E there without any pencil markings on there. Just going to colour this in green. Now you can take much more time over this. You can do this in any colour. Now, if you have a colour printer, you can avoid colouring and you can do polka dots on there and you can have it in all sorts of different colours. There we go. You need a bit of glue in order to stick that on there, but I'm going to use sellotape. I forgot the sellotape at the beginning. You do need a bit of sellotape. Now I can't find the end. Oh my goodness, Ooh, where's the end? I need to use scissors for this. And put, stick that on there. And to attach to your string, and I have some string here somewhere. I'm going to fold the edge over. A little bit of sellotape. To hold it in place. And there you have your letter E. Let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our lives through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in the Holy Spirit, strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen.
So my favourite hymn was going to be Over a Thousand Tongues by Charles Wesley. But other than the fact that it's one of me and my dad's favourite hymns, there's nothing else particularly significant for me to say about it. However, there is an amazing piece of music by a black British Christian rapper called Stormzy, which I find really moving. It's called Blinded by Your Grace. And it's basically about someone who was unworthy and lost, but was found and rescued by God. Now, Stormzy is quite a controversial figure. And back in 2018, he got mixed up in drug and gambling allegations. And at the time, I remember hearing people muttering that he was a bad example of being a Christian. And I remember thinking they've got it completely wrong. He's a great example. In my opinion, he and his song epitomise one of the most amazing and liberating things about Christianity. You don't have to be anyone or do anything or behave in a certain way to be loved by God. As Stormzy says, it's not by blood and it's not by birth, but oh my God, what a God I serve. Now, obviously, there are commandments in the Bible, people I shouldn't kill, requirements to love and respect others. And life is likely to be a whole lot more pleasant if I keep them. But through grace, I'm accepted by God, irrespective of whether I do or not. Now, if you're not a fan of rap, and I'm not particularly sure I am, um, but you may find this song a bit hard going. But I hope the fact that it's written in a brutally honest style by a man who grew up in a culture that was rife with knife crime, um, who was himself the victim of knife attacks and who lost a friend as a result of one such attack will make it poignant and meaningful. Lord, I've been broken, although I'm not worthy. You fixed me. I'm blinded. By your grace, you came and saved me, Lord. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm blinded by your grace. I'm blinded by your grace, by your grace. I'm blinded by your grace. I'm blinded by your grace. Lord, I've been broken. Although I'm not worthy. You fix me, I'm blinded by your grace. You came and saved me, Lord, I've been broken. Although I'm not worthy, you fix me, now I'm blinded. One time for Fraser T. Smith from the courts. Whoa. I think we got one. I stay prayed up, then I get the job done. Yeah, I'm Abigail's youth, but I'm God's son. But I'm up now, look at what God's done. No, I'm real tall, look at what God did. Hey. On the main stage, running around topless. Hey. I phone flips, then I tell him that we got this. Hey. This is God's plan, they can never stop this. Like, wait right there, could you stop my verse? You saved this kid and I'm not your first. It's not by blood and it's not by birth. But oh my God, what a God I serve. Lord, I've been broken. Me. Oh, I'm blinded by 
Dear Father, in your word we read that a good deed made to another is also a deed we offer to you. Let us be mindful of the way we treat others. A cup of water offered to a child shall surely be rewarded. We give thanks to our government for their good and not so good decisions at this difficult time. Give them strength and guidance as we strive to come out of lockdown. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks to those working throughout this current crisis, putting others before themselves. Give them peace and reassurance. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for those on furlough, uncertain of their circumstances or futures. Give them resilience and hope for the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We give thanks for our family members that we have been locked down with and those further afield that we have not been able to reach. Give us joy for future reunions. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For those that are sick or who have left this earthly life or are saddened by departure, we ask for your compassion and comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done. On earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours. Now and forever. Amen. We are all one in Christ Jesus. We belong to him through faith, heirs of the promise of the spirit of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.